Today we're going to bring in the trash with Trash Guides. Trash Guides optimize your server and media management, saving you time and drive space. This is the first in a series of Trash Guides. Today we're going to go over setting up your Unraid server for hard links, also known as atomic moves. What are hard links? Hard links are links that point to data versus creating a copy, saving you space, drive rights, and time. Let's get started. This guide is going to be using the cache option within Unraid. If you do not have a cache drive, I recommend you get one and add it to your system. I'll leave a link in the description for a drive that I recommend. First thing we need to do is set up Unraid. So let's make sure Tunable Hard Links is turned on. To do that, we're going to go to Settings and then Global Share Settings. The second to last option, you'll find Tunable Support Hard Links. You want to make sure that it's set to Yes. If yours is not set to Yes, then you'll need to stop the array, come back here, and turn it on. And I'll show you how to do that real quick. Go to Main, scroll down, press Stop here under Array Operation, wait for it to stop, you go back to Settings, Global Share Settings, and then you'd change this to Yes. Hit Apply, and then Done. Then you'll need to go back to Main, go back to the Array Operation, and start it back up. To make use of Hard Links, you'll set up one main folder as your main data share. And within that, we'll create subfolders that the different programs will transfer data around in. To do that, let's go to shares. We're going to do add share. The share name, we're going to call it data. And for comment, I'm going to call it data share or all media related data. And the primary storage is going to be cache. And the secondary storage is going to be array. And under the mover action, we're going to make sure that this is cache to array. And it is. Everything else is fine, so just go ahead and hit add share. I'll scroll back down and go to SMB security settings. And then export option, we want to set that to yes. And for security, I'm going to leave it on public because this is my demo server. I don't really have any data on here anyhow. But if you need yours secured, you'd want to drop this down and hit private or secure, whichever one fits your needs. If you're not familiar with that, hover over security and a little question mark will appear. Click on security and it'll pop out a brief description of what each one of those options are. When you're all set, hit apply and then done. Now we're going to create a custom proxy network. To do that, in the top right corner, we're going to click on the terminal icon and it'll open up a terminal page. In there, we're going to type docker network create and then a name of your proxy network. I'm going to call mine alien proxy. Press enter and then close the window. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button so I know. Now we need to set up folder structures. We're going to browse to our data folder. So open up your explorer window and I'll drag it in here so you can see it. Find your data folder, open that up. And inside of that, we're going to need to create several different directories. First one I'm going to create, I'm going to call torrents. Next one is going to be Usenet. And then we're going to create one called media. Inside the torrents folder, we're going to open it up and create subfolders in there for our data to go to. First one I'm going to do, I'm going to call books. Next one is going to be music. Create another one called movies and another one called TV. And you'll notice that I'm keeping everything lowercase. As we set up our different torrent clients and ours, keeping everything lowercase just makes it easy to remember. These folders are kind of the minimum of what you need. If you have other categories that you'd like to add, go ahead and add them now. I'm going to go ahead and add one for documentaries. And I have my books divided up into ebooks and audiobooks, so I'm going to change that. That all looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is to copy all of these and we're going to paste this information into the other folders that we had. We're going to go back one directory in media. We'll open that up and we'll paste those in there. Go back another directory, back to data, go to Usenet. Inside of there, we're going to need to create a couple other folders. So new folder, call it complete and another one called incomplete. And you're going to open up the complete folder and paste those same directories that you had. So when you're done under the media folder, you'll have your subfolders there for each media type, the same exact folders for torrents. And then under Usenet, we're going to have complete and incomplete and complete is going to have those same subfolders. If at a later point you decide that you need more categories like 3D movies or you know, TV documentaries or something of that nature. You'll have to create those subfolders underneath Usenet Complete, Media, and Torrents. If you've got all your directories created, we're going to need to move the data. If you don't have any existing data, then you can just skip over this part. If you've got existing data directories with music and movies and TV shows and that kind of stuff, we're going to be putting a copy into this one until we can get the rest of the trash guide set up. Once we're all set up with the guides and everything's completed, then we can go back and remove that first copy. The next thing we need to do is to make a copy of our data to move it from our original media folder to our now media folder within the data folder. All right, I'm going to go back to the main server, go to my media share, and I'm going to go under, oh, well, let's say TV shows first. I'm going to do control A to select everything, control C to copy it, go back to my server, go to the data under media, TV shows. I'm going to paste that in there. I'll let that copy over. And while that's doing that, let's go back and get the next folder. So we're going to go back to media. I'm going to do my photos. Actually, I don't have a folder for photos. I'm not really going to be downloading any photos, so I can just store it in my media folder. So I'll copy that, go back to the server under data media new folder photo and paste in the photos i'm just gonna do these two but you'd want to do the rest of yours i just do one at a time i'm sure under movies and tv shows there's probably quite a bit of data for you so you just want to go in there copy everything you have go back to your new data share open up the media go to wherever it's going to go movies paste it in whatever the case may be and once your data is all copied over you pretty much got the first step into setting up trash guides if you got some value out of this video check out one of these videos next my next video in this series is going to be setting up deluge with trash guides i'll see you in that one